Hi everyone, so today's video is going to be the one month update on this Here Vivi wig. I posted an initial review on this wig about three weeks ago, but I have been wearing it every single day now for a month and a half. And I always like to do these videos with my human hair wigs to make sure you guys get an accurate representation of whether I would or wouldn't recommend a wig a month later. I always say that you can't really fully tell whether a wig is good quality until you've worn it, washed it, done everything, gone out in the wind, the rain. You need to experience everything to be able to decide whether a wig is good or not. So with that being said, I'm just going to get into this video, but if you enjoy wig reviews and you want to see what they look like a month later make sure you subscribe because i will be posting more videos like this in the future okay so in case anyone missed the initial video i'm gonna run through the specs of this wig again and then explain how long i've been wearing it and how well it has held up this is the camilla unit from here vv i'll pop up a photo of it on the website on screen now. This is a lace front wig. It is chestnut brown human hair with HD lace. I got this in the hair length 20 inches, a cap size small, and the fake scalp that they use I got in the shade Honey. This wig is about 160% density, so it's quite thick. It's still a realistic density. It's supposed to be a silky straight wig, but obviously I've curled it today. The cap construction for this is 13 by six frontal. So I purchased this wig on the 17th of November, 2021 and I paid £355 for it. It got delivered and then I started wearing it on the 5th of December. So I think it took about 10 days to be delivered, which was really quick, I was really impressed. Today is the 19th of January, 2022. So I've been wearing this now for about six weeks, approaching seven weeks. And I feel like when I've been wearing it for this long, I can actually give an accurate representation of whether I would recommend this wig or not and you'll be happy to know I 100% would recommend this wig. So from the time where I started wearing it to now in the past six weeks I think I've washed it four or five times and literally no colour fading whatsoever. I think it still looks identical. It probably looks a little bit um, drier right now. I should have washed it before filming this um, because after the weekend it definitely needs to be washed and straightened but it's still super super soft there's no tangling no matting at the back of the neck and also the shedding has has been really really limited so i always find that when you're washing the wigs that's when you can see how much they shed and with this one when i'm washing it i'm not noticing like huge amounts of hair it's just the occasional strand here and there, which you would expect when you've been wearing it every single day. So I've been wearing this wig for exercise, for going to work every day, going out to parties, all of that over the Christmas period, I've been wearing this wig. And I will say it's held up really, really well. So I hate that feeling when you've got a wig and you have to be really gentle with it because it's not the best cap construction or you just know that it sheds a lot so you have to be really careful. I don't find that with this wig at all, like I can brush it now and straighten, curl it, as long as I'm looking after it and not, you know, throwing it around, it's surviving really, really well. So I'm really impressed. I'll also say when I'm washing it that the colour isn't running. So with a lot of like human hair wigs I've had in the past, as you wash the wig, more and more the dye kind of strips from it. Because this is virgin hair, the dye obviously doesn't come out of it, it's not been overly processed. So that is one really good thing and if you're looking for a wig that's not going to fade in the first month, then I 100% recommend this wig. You can see on the ends as well, when I put my hands through the hair, it's still thick on the ends. It's not, it's not gotten like really thin. The hair still looks really thick. So some things that may be worth pointing out that I really, really like about this wig is the cap size is perfect. So I have a small head, <laughs> um, especially when you don't have your own hair underneath a wig, you can find that they run quite big. But this wig is a really good size 
for a petite cap. I don't get any like excess wig in the back. It sits flat to my head, which I found has been really handy for doing like ponytails and things like that. The hair just sits flat. So in terms of styling, I'd say I've used heat on this wig pretty much every other day. I've been curling it quite a lot and also straightening it. And usually with my human hair wigs, I don't blow dry them, but I think I've washed this five times and I've probably blow dried it three out of those five times. So I will say I have not gone easy on the heat on this wig. And even though I wouldn't recommend that if you want it to last a long time, I do feel like the hair has held up quite well considering I've used that much heat on it and it does hold styles quite well. This is a really long wig so when you curl wigs like this, unless you're putting in a lot of hairspray, the curls do drop quite quickly. It's happening right now but it just kind of turns into just a loose wave which I really like anyway. So would I recommend this wig? Absolutely, 100%. I think this is probably the best human hair wig that I've had in a good couple of years now. I've had some like issues with wigs that I've purchased and made reviews on in the past and I am really surprised and super happy that this wig has held up as well as it has. So I'm hoping that this one will last me maybe another couple of months and then I'll be on to purchasing another one. I'm really considering getting a blonde one but it's so much money to part with and I don't want to buy a human hair wig that I'm not going to end up wearing or end up dying, which I have a really bad habit of doing. So I'm hoping that this one will obviously keep me going until the summer and then I will decide whether I want a blonde one or a brunette one. I obviously also have the other Hair Vivi wig, the Addison, which I will be posting about when I do decide to wear that for a month as well. But at the moment I'm just loving this Camilla wig. So if you guys have any questions or if you want me to post anything else on this wig, for example styling or anything, then please just let me know. I'm always looking for new video ideas because I really do enjoy making these videos. And yeah, I think that's pretty much it. I think this is going to be a super short video but just keep it short and sweet. I 100% recommend this wig to you guys and I'm super impressed for the price that I paid. And that is basically it. So I will see you on the next video. Make sure you subscribe. And yeah, bye. Hello.